Now, uh, the gear diff. This is uh, one item uh, I guess many people uh, would like to see. Uh, I found a very good solution for uh, building the gear diff, so I'm uh, going to show you uh, how uh, to do it. First of all, uh, I take the gears, and as you can see, all gears have uh, a little bit of uh, plastic on the side, so you want to make it even. And um, the last uh, couple of months, I uh, tested a lot, and I found a very good solution uh, for the for the width of the the gear. So, if you have a new gear, the thickness of the gear is 3.65 millimeter. And uh, what I do, I take a piece of sandpaper, it's a 400 grit, and I sand it down till it reaches 3.58, 3.57. So it means on both sides, total, it's 0 0.15 mm smaller. And I will explain later why I do this. So I send it down and I check again the thickness and it's already 3.61. So I go a little bit more. It doesn't take so long time. If you take a thousand grit sandpaper it will take a longer time but with 400 it's, uh, it's pretty fast. Don't uh, push too hard because it's uh, Soon it's smaller than 3.57 uh, uh, millimeter. It's uh, 59 now, so just make around. Nothing special. Check again. 58. A little bit more. Fifty seven. Fifty eight, fifty seven. So I take the other one, do the same. Check again a little bit more. So it think I think it not takes more than a minute. So it's uh, not as bad as uh, sending uh, the ball diff uh, ring because this, this took a lot uh, more time. Fifty eight. Nah, a little bit more. Just take some uh, brake cleaner, clean, uh, sorry, just take some brake cleaner and uh, clean the, the gear so there's no more uh, dust or plastic. As you can see it's uh, almost flat, also the other one. So the small gears as well, they have a little bit of uh, plastic hanging on the outside. Th these ones I don't measure, I just only use a little bit of sandpaper so the two uh, plastic uh, bits which come from the mold, they're off so it's also flat. Two. Three and four. <laughs> Again, also a little bit brake cleaner. Just clean uh, the gears so there's no more dust, no more plastic. Everything is clean. 
So these are all the gears. Okay, the next uh, step, I take uh, the housing and the outdrive. The short one goes to the short part and the big one goes to the big part. Uh, today I'm going to build it with 800 shock oil. This is uh, pretty much the, the base, what we use at the moment. Always in the range of 700 till uh, 1200. But, uh, also at the Euros in uh, Vienna we use uh, 800. First of all I take the O-ring and I make it a little bit with the oil and I'm going to put it inside. Also the other one, a little bit oil, put it inside. So now the trick comes, because it's uh, very important to use three shims on each side. Uh, normally I use two, two shims, but because I send down the gear a little bit more, I can use three shims and still uh, be able to have a little bit of play on the gear diff, but that's just the perfect play. So I'm going to add three shims on each side before I'm going to mount again. I'm gonna put three shims on each side before I'm gonna put the big gear so the gap is perfect. So this is three shims and also the other side I put three shims of course after I first I put the pin I push it a little bit I take the pin also the other one <laughs> okay I take the two gears one on each side Check the play, so this gear, you can see two gears with three shim each, sent down to 3.5758 millimeter. Now I can fill the gear diff on one side, I put the 800 in, I just fill it up like halfway. I take the small gears put it in the other two gears on top I let it a little bit uh, work push it down add some more oil you can also uh, push it down with the oil bottle now now I can uh, yeah just let it sit for a small uh, small time just to uh, get all the bubbles out as you can see it's not all the way to the top because this gear comes in so otherwise it's uh, too full so I always uh, leave a little bit of a cone so this should be enough so this is the seal put a little bit oil to stick it on the other side I push it down nice so it's everywhere and I just turn around and close the gear diff. Now I take the screws and I'm gonna close the gear diff with the screws. Not too tight. First 
O4. And you, you can see the oil comes out a little bit because it was just on the limit, the amount of oil in the gear diff. So actually it was uh, filled 100%. So now they're all four in. Now I can tie it a little bit more. Never, never, never use fourth. Just uh, first uh, tie it all four the same, and always check if it's still free. If you tie it too much, it can be uh, locked a little bit. But this uh, feels uh, very nice. So I can tie it a little bit more. On four, four sides, not too much. Check again, and it's still free. So, check one more time, it's uh, tight enough, but never over tight. Never perfect. One gear diff. <laughs>